Hi guys, in this video I'll talk about the master detail design pattern and how we can implement that using Ionic 2 as well as Angular 2. This is going to be a very simple tutorial and very, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing complicated as far as the UI is concerned, as far as the logic is concerned. So let's just get started. So if you consider, this is obviously the control panel which comes default with Windows 7 but if you consider this as an example app we see this list of list items we can consider this as a list item or I mean list view having many list items just for the sake of simplicity so I can uh, explain you what the master detail is so basically this is the master page and it has lot of list items which can be plain text or images or combination of text as well as images and when you click on a specific item for example credential manager the details of credential manager loads and shows up so basically this is the details page cause this page shows the specific details of a specific list item and also notice that we are presented with a back button so in case we want to go back to our master page uh, we can be on be back on our master page so that's the whole idea of the master details pattern I know it sounds very simple and it's actually pretty simple and most of the apps uh, implement master details pattern uh, in slightly different forms so let's just see how we can uh, tackle that using Ionic 2 so we definitely need the starting point or the master page or the master page so I'm going to use Ionic generator to create a new page so I'll say Ionic G G is for generator and then page and then name of the page in this case master and I'll hit enter it creates three new files one HTML file one the SAS file and the last one is the very important file which is the TypeScript file where all of our logic for the application will go and all the angular 2 stuff so let's examine the project structure so we should have a new folder so there you go we have a new folder called master which is the name of our newly created page it has three corresponding files and let's just create a basic unordered list and add a few list items so I'm just going to add two list items for now just to keep things simpler uh, simple because it can get really complicated and if you are using a real uh, app real production app it's going to be a long list and you're going to be doing things in a slightly more systematic way but for the sake of this tutorial you can just create a simple unordered list with few list items so let's just say item 1 close the li oops and the second item item 2 close the li there you go save it this is the master page having two list items but we definitely need the corresponding details page for our two items so we need a details page for the details of item 1 and we need a details page for the details of items item 2 so let's just repeat the process of creating new page and again using the ionic generator ionic g page name of the page it's going to be um, item 1 okay we are going to repeat the same thing for the second page oops ionic g page item 2 there you go alright we need uh, so we see two new folders for each of our newly created page item 1 and item 2 
okay now I need to mention one thing so if you go to the TypeScript file where the logic of our app will go in any of these pages I want you to notice this statement export class master page or the export statement of that page so notice the name of the page is only master but the name of the class is master page and ionic 2 by default appends the word page after the name of the page that you created so in this case master so the name of the class is master page and also notice the camel notation camel case uh, so that's uh, notation used in ionic 2 apps uh, anyway so pay, pay close attention to this statement because this is the main object that we are going to be using or the main component that we are going to be using for all the navigation stuff so by default when we create a new page ionic 2 by default adds this uh, statement which imports the nav controller from ionic angular library and we are going to be using this nav controller in order to control the navigation flow of our application and as you can see it's also added in the master page class using the constructor it's called nav so if we do something like this dot nav and we uh, so we can access the properties of the nav controller so we need a function to navigate so let's just call that function redirect and we'll uh, add the event hand handlers later on but for now just let's just add this function so just like you add a standard uh, ES5 uh, function we'll add a function so redirect that's the name of the function function it's going to take a single arg argument called page and it's going to be a number indicating which page we want to navigate to and then the standard function uh, notation so now there's a problem because if we use this dot something this points to the object uh, I mean this points to this function not the class that we want to access the properties of so uh, we want to access the nav property of the master page and even though you might be expecting this dot nav like that we cannot do that because this pointer doesn't point to the class but its function so it's this pointer is pointing to the redirect function which is not what we want so what we are going to do here is we are going to be using the arrowhead functions and if you don't know about the arrowhead functions you can just google it it's basically a new ES6 feature which is quite powerful and now if you do this dot uh, something you will see all the properties of this class because now that this pointer actually points to the class and not any of its uh, member functions so this dot nav now for in order to navigate we are going to be using two functions uh, mainly that are push and pop and if you are already familiar what a, uh, with what a stack is it's basically like a stack so imagine you have a stack of stuff and the stuff are uh, stuff is pages and so Im uh, just imagine like your app starts when your app starts in your stack all you have is a single page that is the root page of your application and then when you want to go to or jump to a different page let's just say page 1 you push page 1 into the stack so now th the top of the stack points to page 1 which is the current view of the application so either you can go back to the previous page by popping page 1 so that the app will uh, point to the root page or you can push another page into the app into the stack so let's just say uh, the top of the stack ha uh, stack has page 1 and you add another page which is called page 2 so now the view of the application gets updated to page 2 
so that's how the navigation work is basically push and pop push is to go to a new page or new view and pop is to go back anyway so we are going to be using push and we are going to push to either first page or second page uh, but before we push to the first page or the second page we need to first include those pages and uh, we do that by importing those uh, corresponding pages so for the first page uh, which is called item one page I believe I think it's capital I camel case and from now this is the path which is relative to this file which is master.ts so we need to go one level up and then we need to go to this folder item one and then finally we have this file item one dot ts which is the destination so it's going to be item one and then item one so as you see the red dots disappear indicating the path is correct and we are going to do the same exact thing for the second page and it's going to be item 2 page and item 2 just replace once with the 2 and okay so as you notice the as you notice the definition of our function uh, which is redirect we have a single parameter page which is a, obviously a number now depending on this page parameter which indicates the page which we intend to visit it can be either one or two if it is one we want to navigate to the first page and if it is two we want to navigate to the second page so we definitely need a if check so if page is equal one we want to navigate to the first page and since we only have two pages we can just use else if there were many pages we I believe had to use else if or something like that but we are just going to cut this push statement and paste it in the if log oops oh, I guess this uh, that just disappeared but I'll just type in manually this dot nav dot push and since we have our pages imported we can just refer to them directly item one page will show up and just end this statement and similarly if the page is not equal to one we are going to push item two page into the stack so basically it makes sense if we are calling the redirect function with the page parameter being two it's going to change the view to the second page that's what this code right here says and that's it and basically we can just put in some basic HTML just to distinguish between these two pages so let's just say h1 and this is the first page and just close this heading tag and similarly let's do the same thing for the second page h1 this is the second page and just close the heading tag okay save and let's just see if everything is fine okay so this is important because uh, as you know the starting point of our ionic 2 app is this file app.ts by default the root page that it points to is the tabs page that comes by a default when you uh, create a new ionic 2 project but that's not what we want so we need to change or rather replace tabs page with our master page so before we do that we need to import our master page again so I'm going to say master um, page camel notation from I'll specify the path so path is relative to this file app.ts so we need to go one level up I believe no we don't need to go one level up so we just need to go to pages directory pages and then we need to go to master directory and then we will have our page master 
master.ts but we don't need to specify explicitly master.ts so I'll just say master so red dots disappear which means there is no error in the path and now we can just replace the tabs page with the uh, master page it will show up and the statement now it it all looks good so I'm just going to type in the command ionic serve and let's just see what this looks in a real browser so I'll just expect the master page to show first and then if we click on uh, one of the list items the corresponding uh, details page should load uh, by the way I just realized that I am missing uh, something so uh, you probably might have guessed so we haven't added any event handler so basically when I click on this nothing is going to happen because we haven't defined any click events so in order to do that just go to the master page again the HTML for the master page and you might already know this how to add uh, events in angular 2 basically we are targeting the click event when the user clicks on a specific list item this list item it's going to call the function redirect and pass in the parameter 1 uh, this is the same function that we defined in the uh, TypeScript file for this page and I think it makes sense uh, we are passing 1 because we want to redirect to the first page and redirect uh, is independent of the page it wants to redirect to so we are passing in a parameter so that the redirect function knows which page it needs to redirect hopefully it makes sense so click is equal to redirect and for this I'm going to pass to and hit save and since we already ran that command ionic serve it should just reflect the changes let's just see hit refresh and let's see what happens when I click on this oh, there you go so this is the first page so this is the first page and obviously our view has changed which means our stack if you can visualize the page stack has changed and now the top of our page stack points to the first item page and you'll notice that by default Ionic 2 provides us with this back button and you probably might have guessed when we click on this back button it will return to the master page and similarly when we click on the second item it's going to navigate to the second page and in terms of the stack what it means is that the top of the stack now points to the second item page and when I click when I press this back button the second item page is going to pop off and uh, because when we were starting the root page was initially on the stack the root page is going to be on the stack again and which means we are back on the root page so hopefully this stack uh, visualization helps but uh, if you don't like this stack idea maybe you can just uh, uh, treat this as a process in which we are just navigating among the pages and the main key thing to note here is the nav controller component uh, which Ionic 2 imports by default when you create a new page using Ionic generator and then we have two famous or popular methods push and pop in order to navigate back and forth so that's pretty much it uh, this was my first video tutorial I was quite nervous so maybe you can suggest improvements and just let me know what you would like to see and maybe I'll do one more video tutorial so thanks for watching guys bye